Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at machining templates. Now, machining templates are automatically stored every time you execute one of these machining operations over here. Alright, you don't have to do anything, 1CNC automatically stores the machining template, and then the benefit to you is that you can use that template later on to help expedite your manufacturing. So, what is a machining template? Well, a machining template just stores all the parameters that you used within a particular machining operation. Let's demonstrate this. We're going to head over here to our stock tool paths, and let's say we want to profile the inside of this pocket. So I'm going to grab the mill profile operation. We're going to climb cut. I'll hit F3 to grab the rest of the geometry there. We're going to right hand mouse click. Now I'm going to type in some really odd values for the, the diameter. Same for the length where it sticks out of the holder there just something really strange, something that we'll remember. Same for the uh, feed rate, let's make this different also. Okay, so there's some really odd numbers for that. And I'm happy with the depth of cut. And you don't have to put in odd numbers for a template to get saved. I'm just doing this to help us remember what we put in there. We'll click finish, so there's our profile operation. Now, the profile operation gets added to our NC manager. And also what happened behind the scenes is that 1CNC has recorded all of those parameters we used for that profile operation. So let's go back into mill profile. I'm going to grab the outside now and we'll climb cut that. Now if you look over on the left hand side of the dialog boxes, you'll always see this area here called templates. Okay, This is where your machining templates are stored. Now right now for my profile operation, there's four templates in here. Now these are all profile operations that I have executed beforehand. And again, it could have been five minutes ago, three days ago, a month ago, a year ago, but they've been stored here. All right. So the templates get named the actual diameter of the tool that you used. And you can see here that at one point I used a, a 375 in mill, here I used a 250 and so on. If I want to use this template right here, all I have to do is double click. Now watch what happens when I double click this. Once CNC populates every single dialog box with those values that were stored in that template. So I don't have to fill, refill all these parameters out again. I can just blast all the way through this using next, next, and then finished, and then we're done. Okay. Now let's demonstrate this again. Let's go back into the mill profile operation. Again, I'm going to, well, let's profile the circle this time. And I know I'm machining uh, something impossible here. I'm doing the outside of a hole, but that's all right. For that, let's go back in here, no profile, grab the outside of the hole, we're going to right click that, okay, and so here's our parameters again, so if I want to use this template, just simply double click on that, and then one CNC populates all those values, so here's all those strange values we used originally, and I did that just by double clicking on this. Now this area right here is called your history, your template history, and I don't know the exact amount of templates that will get stored in here, but at some point these templates start to get overwritten. Okay, because again, this is just a history. Now, if you want to make a template permanent, all you have to do is just right hand mouse click and select Save Settings. Then you give your template a name. I'm going to give this, I'll just call this Odd Mill, because it was a strange mill that we used there. And we'll click OK. As soon as I do that, this template gets added to our favorites, and this now becomes a permanent template that we can use anytime that you'd like. Uh, in regards to favorite templates, you can always come back and rename these just by right clicking. Um, and you can rename if you'd like, delete. Uh, there's also, you can sort and so on and so forth. But there is just a quick overview of templates. And the nice thing about that is that these templates are found all the way through manufacturing. So if we look over here in our facing operation, I'm going to edit this. And you can see here, here's the template area. Let's bail out of that. Let's go into our, our drilling operation. So we'll edit that. And over here again, you'll see templates. So you'll find templates all the way through 1CNC. They automatically get saved for you. You can save them permanently if you want, and you can use them anytime that you'd like to automatically populate all your dialog boxes. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.